Welcome to the red room, huh? Welcome to the red room. The red light, green light, cold red terror. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I meant it. Tune in. Don't forget it. Every Friday, 10 o'clock p.m. Yeah. Hello, welcome to the red room tonight. I'm your host, Tanya Grady, and I am so excited because tonight is the night. Our beloved Billy Holiday Theater is opening its doors again after a $4 million renovation. That's why right. Beth Stuyvesant is in for a treat tonight. Zora Neale Hurston's Their Eyes Were Watching God. That's the treat that people are going to get tonight, directed by Ruben Santiago Hudson. Hey, welcome to the Red Room, huh? Their Eyes Were Watching God. It was absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. I honestly feel so moved because the first play that I fell in love with was right there inside of the Billy Holiday Theater where I saw Good Black Don't Crack and it was an excellent play but I have to say the reading of The Eyes Were Watching God is now my favorite because I've never seen a reading of it and uh, they did a phenomenal job and it was a great way to celebrate the reopening of the Billy Holiday Theater. It was great and marvelous. This was one of the best things I could have been doing for this night. I'm so thankful to be here. Beautiful, beautiful. And Leslie Uggen, I've been seeing her for years. That is beautiful. I wasn't expecting seeing her here tonight. So I really enjoyed myself. Um, I absolutely love the play. I've been a fan of Zora Neale Hurston ever since I first read Their Eyes Were Watching God when I was in college. And I'm thrilled the way that it came out today. Thank you for opening up the Billy Holiday again. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, thank I'm you so happy to be here. in the space yes. tonight at the reopening. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's everything. It's everything. It's yes. incredible. It's been an exciting time for the Billy Holiday Theater and restoration this is a long time coming mm -hmm. so you feel what tell me tell me exactly i i feel completely overwhelmed um i feel such gratitude this is an extraordinary moment for the community mm -hmm. we have uh, gone through what has been a 10-year process of thinking about this and a two-year process of renovations and I feel like the community was just waiting right there. Mm -hmm. When we opened the doors, they entered yes. um, with all of the enthusiasm we could have only hoped for. And this theater is for them. Yes. This is for our community. I, I feel that way because I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Bedford-Stuyvesant. So I feel like this is a piece of me. I've yeah. seen many, many of plays and just coming here to the restoration and just to be able to know that somebody invested what 4.1 million dollars million dollars and that was an incredible investment the city of new york um the brooklyn borough president uh the new york city council all came together mm -hmm. to ensure that this space could have a second life and as we watch black theaters around the country um really struggle to stay alive and vibrant mm -hmm. and vital and uh, you feel an added responsibility every time I sit down with actors who performed in the Billy back in the 70s mm -hmm. and the 80s and the 90s. They impress upon me um, how many theaters are not with us anymore yeah. and how critical the Billy Holiday Theater is not only to the black theater landscape but the American theater landscape because to understand the African-American story is to really understand the American story. Mm -hmm. And so this, this destination um, holds a lot of uh, weight and a lot of responsibility for the artist um, to tell stories that matter. Ruben Santiago Hudson, it is my pleasure to meet you. It is my pleasure. Thank you. Wow. I feel like I just witnessed greatness. The reading of Their Eyes Were Watching God. Whew. Well, it was a, it's a journey, you know, even in a reading uh, version of it, it's such a journey. Mm -hmm. And then when you get the, those, uh, those, those kind of actors on stage who are so committed mm -hmm. and have such a wide range in their, in their craft, it's just, it's just something that, even sitting there with them, it's like I'm, I'm in uh, like a heaven with them, you know. Like you've been transported almost. Oh, yeah, I just love it. I just take the journey with them, you know. <laughs> wow. Well, now, how does it feel because you're here at the reopening of the famous Billy Holiday Theater to do it here on this stage. It's, it's amazing. Well, well, I'm wondering why it's taking me so long to be here, but now I know, you know, 
the magic that's here and the history that's here. And I know that uh, I missed out for a long time, but mm -hmm. not no more. So I'm here and and I'll, I'll be here, you know, coming in and out and doing my thing and partnering up with them to, to see where I can, you know, add and on to the next legacy that they're creating now. Mm -hmm. And we're standing here next to this rich history. This is the Amazing. actual wall of the Billy Holiday Theater, the original wall. So this is kind of like, I guess, iconic now. Can we say well, that? It's, it's, it's more than that. It's the spirits. It's the ancestors. Mm -hmm. It's emanating from them. It's all the people that have been in touch the same wall we touched. Mm -hmm. Stood in front of them and helped these walls be created by the work that they were doing. Well, tell me about some of the people. I know uh, Samuel Jackson before he was Samuel L. Jackson and you, Debbie Allen, but who else? Elaine Graham and Ebony Joanne, who are right here, Count Stovall, uh, Jerome Preston Bates. Uh, I mean, you can go on. It's like the who's who. It was like it, the, the Billy, Ho Billy Holiday was like Brooklyn's version of basically the Negro Ensemble Company or the New Federal Theater. Mm -hmm. It was just here in Brooklyn. So we were doing our art, particularly in the 70s, all over the city. It was just bursting. It was an ex explosion of us expressing ourselves and screaming out and, you know, of who we were and what we stood for in our integrity. And, and the Billy has a strong hold in, 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 yes. in that respect here in Brooklyn. To you, what is your biggest hope for the Billy Holiday Theater? That it continues in the vein in which it is starting and has started, as it gives opportunities to young actors and writers and producers and directors. But even from this stage on, that uh, the world would know of the world-class art that's coming out of the Billy Holiday Theater. Theater, uh, dance, music. And uh, that it may continue to grow to uh, be an inspiration to those that are coming up who look to those on stage and one day they'll be on stage as well. I, uh, I first came to the Billy Holiday Theater in 82. I had done some work out at, uh, in Harlem with the uh, Ernie McClintock 127th Street uh, Ensemble. And so I came out here early in my career, gave me one of my um, first professional uh, salaries. <laughs> Um, and in 82 and 94, I was on my way to Broadway, uh, uh, going to Chicago uh, to do Seven Guitars with Ruben Santiago Hudson and Viola Davis, created the role of Floyd in Seven Guitars by August Wilson. So uh, it's, it's, it's a blessing it, it's a, to have that transition. But this was my, this was my uh, uh, tuning ground, and just recently on Broadway, um, Oh, uh, with Chitney, uh, directed by Ruben Santalco Hudson. I was standby for John Douglas Thompson, who has a Tony nomination now. Let it go. Let it go.